This high-speed train from Japan is known as a bullet train. If you're looking to reach your destination quickly in this nation, it has you covered. It is an impressive feat of engineering that was developed following the conclusion of World War II. Throughout its operation, it has transported over 10 billion passengers, reaching speeds of up to 320 kilometers per hour. Additionally, it played a significant role in fostering the growth of the world's third largest economy. However, Japan is not satisfied with the current state of affairs, and the nation is presently constructing the fastest passenger train in the world. This new system is expected to operate at double the speed of the bullet trains, effectively reducing travel times by half. Remarkably, this is achieved by eliminating a rather essential element, wheels. Utilizing magnetic levitation, these upcoming trains will hover approximately 10 centimeters above the tracks, thereby eliminating the friction associated with direct contact with the rails. However, the introduction of this new train line has sparked significant controversy due to various issues. Delays, exorbitant construction expenses, and a heated debate surrounding environmental concerns have plagued its development. As the project nears completion, the entire world awaits to witness whether it will successfully overcome these challenges and revolutionize transportation or if it will ultimately be deemed a step too ambitious. Japan has a noteworthy history when it comes to trains. In 1959, they became the first country in the world to pioneer high-speed rail with the construction of the Tokaido Shinkansen Line, connecting Tokyo and Osaka. At that time, skepticism prevailed among both the Japanese people and the global community who believed that Japan's substantial investment in rail would soon be overshadowed by the emergence of air travel and highways. Nevertheless, the first high-speed line opened in October 1964, just in time for Tokyo's inaugural hosting of the Olympics. This line significantly reduced travel time between Japan's two largest cities from nearly seven hours to under four. Its immediate success was evident, as it served over 100 million passengers in less than three years. Presently, the same journey on a modern bullet train takes just two and a half hours. However, with the forthcoming Chuo Shinkansen line, this travel time will be further reduced to a mere 67 minutes. These Chuo Shinkansen trains will operate at speeds of up to 500 kilometers per hour, although a test run in 2015 achieved a world record speed of 603 kilometers per hour. Conventional bullet trains are believed to be incapable of attaining such remarkable speeds in the long run due to limitations imposed by wheel friction. To address this issue, Japanese engineers turned to a technology that has been in existence since the early 1900s, magnetic levitation, also known as maglev. Maglev train concepts date back to the 1960s, and the world's sole commercial maglev line has been operational since 2004, connecting Shanghai's city center to its airport. The Central Japan Railway Company, JR Central, has modernized maglev technology by employing superconducting magnets. These magnets, cooled to extremely low temperatures, enable the trains to levitate at higher distances above the tracks. Once the train reaches a speed of 150 kilometers per hour, maglev technology engages, causing the carriages to lift off their rubber wheels. The train then interacts with a series of coils in the track, one for levitation and another for propulsion. By eliminating wheels, these carriages can achieve incredible speeds. Additionally, the maglev trains operate autonomously, guided by the track itself rather than a human driver. This feature is touted as significantly reducing the likelihood of collisions or accidents. The construction of the Tokyo to Nagoya line, which began in 2014, is anticipated to open in 2027. Subsequently, an extension connecting Tokyo to Osaka is scheduled to commence immediately afterward and open as early as 2037, a remarkable 10 years ahead of schedule. In contrast to the current bullet trains that run along the Japanese coastline, the Chuo Shinkansen line will take a different route. It will travel 90% underground, specifically tunneling beneath the Southern Alps. Out of the total 285 kilometer length of the line, approximately 256 kilometers will be situated within tunnels. This approach serves two purposes. Firstly, 
Maglev trains perform optimally when they follow the straightest possible path, and tunneling through the mountains allows for that. Secondly, by avoiding Japan's coastal areas that are more susceptible to earthquakes, the line reduces the risk associated with seismic activity. JR Central has adopted an approach that involves digging some of the deepest tunnels ever seen in Japan. However, this decision has raised significant environmental concerns, particularly in the Shizuoka Prefecture. The tunneling activities pose a potential threat to the basin of the Oi River, which serves as a crucial water source for the region. While environmental studies indicate that the risk of disturbing the basin is low, local governments have criticized these reports, claiming that they are inadequate and rushed. The current governor of Shizuoka even campaigned against the railway project and successfully won the June 2021 election, with the Chuo Shinkansen being a central issue in the campaign. The controversy surrounding the project, coupled with unforeseen challenges in constructing new stations, has caused the cost of the Chuo Shinkansen line to skyrocket from $13.7 billion to an astonishing $64 billion. This makes it one of the most expensive mega projects ever undertaken in Japan. The exorbitant price tag has led many in the country to question the worthiness of the new line. Furthermore, Japan's maglev technology has several drawbacks. Once completed, it will be more costly to operate compared to regular high-speed trains due to higher energy consumption. Additionally, the smaller carriages of maglev trains will accommodate fewer passengers, and the trains will run less frequently. Traditional bullet trains on the Tokyo-Osaka line operate approximately every three minutes, while maglev trains will only run once every 10 minutes due to the time-consuming nature of maglev track switches. China has emerged as a major player in high-speed rail, with two-thirds of the world's high-speed network located in the country. While China does not utilize maglev technology on its intercity lines, it is developing its version. In July 2021, China tested a maglev train that reached a speed of 600 km per hour, almost breaking Japan's record. China's focus on high-speed rail and its potential advancements pose a challenge for Japan's rail companies, which previously generated significant revenue by selling their technology overseas. Despite these challenges, Japan remains determined to build the maglev line, and the government has granted JR Central the authority to finish it 10 years ahead of schedule. If successful, the Chuo Shinkansen line has the potential to significantly connect and transform the regions of Tokyo and Osaka, creating a profound link between the country's two largest cities. This concept of merging major cities through strategic infrastructure is becoming increasingly attractive worldwide, as seen in China's Pearl River Delta and the blurred boundaries between cities in the northeastern United States and Western Europe. Such mergers can potentially create economic powerhouses on an unprecedented scale. When the bullet train was initially under construction over half a century ago, the world ridiculed it. However, it ultimately allowed Japan to grow by connecting regions and facilitating the sharing of prosperity. In the decade following its opening, Japan's economy surged, transforming it from being just 10% the size of the United States economy to becoming the world's second largest. While the success of the new maglev line remains to be seen, the ability to transport people between major cities in record-breaking time has the potential to open up a whole new world of possibilities. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more content. Stay tuned for our next video and hit the notification bell to never miss an update. Remember to share this video with your friends and spread the word. Until next time.